What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, TJ. And your girl, Crystal. And we are back again with another finger. And today it's going down, y'all, because today we're going to be reacting to the biggest music industry screw job, job ever. ever. I can't believe they're doing this to us, oh, man. Tom so, McDonald is pissed. He is mad about uh, their song did hella numbers and Billboard wouldn't accept their hard copies. Mm. Yeah, so the he, hard that Billboard wasn't accept the hard copy sold. Yes. Oh, uh, cause they said it's a new wave. Of, we're doing streaming now. We no, count. that's bullshit. I, yeah. They they yeah, count is, they count a lot. Of, they, they count most people's. It's because he's you know independent. You know what I mean? So oh, they're they fucking with him. They ain't making no money off of that. Uh, that's what it is. You know. Yeah. I mean, that's what it seems like that's because crazy. you know he. Uh, Put, puts them together and mails them out. Like, there's no money for nobody else but him. Do they normally uh, count his CDs sold? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But he's going to explain some stuff in here, I guess. Let's so check let's it go. out. And we got baby Jaden. We got baby Jaden in here. Say hi, Jaden. Baby Jaden. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, all right, I'm going to tell you a little story. And I'm going to tell you right now, it does not have a happy ending. Okay. And this story is called The Biggest Music Industry Screw Job Ever. Mm. Newsflash, there's a lot of independent artists who don't like me. But I hope you guys can see past the hate boner that you have for me and see how valuable this is and how important it is to independent artists everywhere. And you know what? It's not just independent artists. It's major label artists too. Look what Kanye West just did. Kanye just completely bailed on the music industry and released his new album on an MP3 player. What Damn. Kanye's just yeah. now doing. Damn. You Do got you know that? I heard it. I heard it. I'm glad he brought it back up because this time I can actually pay attention to what's going on with that. Um, I think these days you're going to have to actually finesse the game. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the year for everybody to be entrepreneurs. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now that the world is becoming more entrepreneurs, like independent. The industry got to do snakier moves because they're going to be like, no, we got to make it to where you guys need us. You can't right. think that you can get out here and do this shit independently. So, so, and we don't get a cut off of it. So we got, yes. So we got to start finessing them. But as you think about it, a lot of owners and, and entrepreneurs and business owners had to finesse the system. Tax time, all that little shit. So it's now everybody got stuff in this and shit. You know what I mean? There's no it was more okay regular shit. When there was just a couple of independent artists. But it seems like this is becoming a new wave of independent artists. Facts. And now everybody's going to think they can be an independent artist and they don't need us because they got YouTube and everything else and they can just upload whatever the fuck they want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to try to put a stop to that if they can industry and released his new album on an mp3 player what kanye's just now doing with his album on his mp3 player is what i've been doing with physical cds for four years mm, completely yeah, cutting out the it. music industry being a so, disruptor anyway i just had to say that i've been screwed the industry before kanye was and we sold more physical copies of uh, the braid and Kanye soul. He reminds players. me of uh, Damn. when Kanye West got up on the stage with Taylor Swift or whatever, and he's like, She don't deserve this award. <laughs> <laughs> or he's like, Soldier Boy, I started this shit. Yeah. I started fucking YouTube. He said he sold more copies. It's like, oh. I've been doing this. Kanye, you just now starting. I've been doing it. So, look, he sold more copies of that CD than Kanye, Kanye sold, sold stem players. Yeah, with his album on there. So. However many stem players he sold is how many albums Kanye sold. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's okay. like if I sell shirts and it come with the CD and I'm giving you the CD for free, they're going to count the fucking, they're going to count however many I gave away because I sold the shirt. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And it came mm. with a CD. Purchase. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to understand why he's so upset about the whole billboard thing not accepting this. Because it's like, you're an independent artist trying to get uh, an award for... They're trying to do some shit that nobody's done. He's trying to get an industry award. And you go against the industry, though. That's what I'm... I don't understand. Like, why, why wouldn't you think that they're doing this shit? You know what I mean? Like, why, why not just start your own industry or your own freaking independent awards ceremony shit you know what i mean mm, 
I see what you're saying. They probably ain't. They probably like, man, fuck this. I think we can aim at more people at the masses if we go at the masses, and then if we get if we get a fucking award from it, that's more eyes on the what industry. We got. Ain't gonna want to give independent artists awards for shit they're not got. They ain't got a piece of that pie. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Why, why am I gonna give you one of our awards when I ain't getting no money off of you? You right. know, that's how they looking at it. Anyway, I just had to say that. I've been screwed the industry before Kanye was. And we sold more physical copies of the Brave album than Kanye did of the STEM player, but whatever. Who's counting, right? I'll tell you exactly who's counting. Not the data collection company that reports the numbers to Billboard. Okay, here we go. Despite our best efforts, unlike everybody else, the physical copies of our new album, The Brave, will not be counted towards the Billboard charts. Now, it's important that you know that this is not a problem directly with Billboard. Billboard's always been really cool to us, actually. But here's something y'all probably didn't know. Billboard does not collect their own data for the Billboard charts. There's a data collection company that counts all of the downloads, the streams, the views, and the data collection company takes those numbers, gives them to Billboard, and Billboard makes their charts. My issue is with the data collection company. So over a period of two weeks, we exchanged 43 emails with this data collection company. And despite us being ready, willing- I gotta say this, salute to, salute to Tom McDonald for even finding that information out. Right? For real. And he was like, listen, I'm not dogging Billboard because uh, they've been pretty good to us. Mm -hmm. So it's this data collection company, okay three emails with this data collection company and despite us being ready willing and able to give them all of the information that they wanted they essentially just didn't believe us about our physical album sales so we got excluded from the charts now you guys aren't gonna believe this trust me I'll start from the beginning I've never done a digital album before and Adam has only done digital albums so we compromise and decide to do both and when I brought this idea to Nova she realized that this would be the perfect time for us to report our physical sales to billboard for the first time and after a little research we realized that if we combined our digital sales with our physical sales it would practically guarantee us the number one spot on the album charts on billboard okay so mm -hmm. So this is Formula. so he says Adam Calhoun always does the the digital. internet digital, digital copies. So what has Tom physical. been doing? No, because Tom's saying this is the first time, or does Tom no. only do physical? Yeah, he said he he always done physical. He's done. He don't only okay. do it. He does. So both this mainly. is the first time that he sh he's give to this data collection and billboard and shit. A combination of the two. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, oh, that's what he's saying. It would practically guarantee us the number one like spot this. on the album charts on Billboard. Independently! Look, we all got really excited. We honestly couldn't believe it. But numbers don't lie. And we realized that we had an opportunity to deal a massive blow to the music industry by outperforming major label artists on a chart that was specifically designed for them. So we rescheduled our entire release around this idea. We were gonna drop our digital album and our physical album at the same time mm. so all of the numbers would be accounted for simultaneously and we topped the chart. Independently! But little did we know what was up ahead. Step one, Nova starts reaching out to the data collection company to get us set up as reporters so that they can account for our numbers. Now there's this massive list of different rules and regulations that you have to abide by if you want them to count your physical sales. So we make sure we got the most up-to-date rules and regulations, we read all of them, and we follow them. I mean, look at the back of your Brave CD. You see this little UPC code? It's mm -hmm. not on any of my other albums. It's only there because it's so why of the hell is those not getting counted if they got a damn SKU number in the back? I think the game has superly. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let you go ahead and grab your grab your headphones. Oh yeah, I had to make sure. All right, but um, I think that they're not counting SKUs. Period on there no more. The data oh. collection agency. Because they said, no, that was a heads up for all independent artists, actually. Well, he's saying that he's been in contact with the, the data collection company, and they sent him all them voice emails. 43. Yeah, so they he said they don't believe him. Yeah. But he's saying, like, I'll give you all the information you need, 
So I don't know. That's just weird. You see this little UPC code? It's not on any of my other albums. It's only there because it's one of their requirements. Anyway, because right. of the strict rules surrounding albums and merch packs and what you can bundle together and how it has to be packaged yeah. and blah, 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 blah. We initially decide to not do merch packs and we decide to save our silver and gold about, album covers packs. for a different project down the line. We made all the sacrifices that we were required to make to, to have our physical yeah. albums accounted for on the billboard. Right. They did everything right. With their, they did everything right. Because that merch, if you would have did merch packs and everything, like that's debatable. Like you got a chance to account it and then not. So right. what they said is we ain't doing none of that. We're going to go by the rules with everything. Uh -huh. they, they always counted these, so there should be no problem there. But I guess when you're doing something like that with technology getting more and more events, you do want to backtrack. Hey, y'all still do this, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even though he just put out an album before this, he just put out a fucking album uh before but i don't know if it hit billboard like that you know mm. what i'm saying number one album like mm. i think he probably had number one songs you know what i'm saying independent albums stuff like that but this is number one album mm. you know what i'm saying because i think these did the numbers that he ain't did before yeah okay hired to make to have our physical albums accounted for on the billboard charts as per their own guidelines fine no problem. We clarify with them that we're taking the right steps. They confirm that we are, and we move forward. All systems go. <sighs> now this is where things entirely fall apart. To keep this video short, not three hours long, I'm not gonna read you all 43 emails. I'll show you the pieces of the emails that are most important, and I'll do my absolute best to give you an accurate reader's digest of this entire scenario. Look, I'm gonna give you as much context as humanly possible, and I'm gonna be 100% transparent about all of this. Let's dive into these emails. And let me add, I had to constantly follow up with these people on a daily basis to get any response at all. And when they did respond, I'd get like one or two lines of text. Many times this offhandedly dismissing us or completely failing to acknowledge any of our questions or concerns. Mm. To register as a reporter, they essentially want to vet your website. They want to know what kind of sales you've done in the past year and what kind of sales you expect to be reporting with this upcoming release. Oh, let's see Damn. what that says. I think we move forward without the box sets. I won't have the actual box in my hand for weeks. And it's more important that I get set up to report the unbundled physical CD sales. How do I get set up to report physical CD sales? Can you give me an idea of a typical week of sales currently? So they just wanted an idea. They yeah, didn't they want any information there. <clears throat> so we answered. Yeah. Huh? I guess that's before they said, yeah, you can do it the question with how many albums we sold last year how many we expect to sell this year and we give them screenshots of everything that we've done for the past 12 months we also ask what the reporting process is like and how sales are actually reported because our album released in a month at that point and we had to be diligent about getting this done in a timely fashion they told us and i quote we have plenty of time to get you set up for reporting since the release is not until next month i'm still not done with the website vetting but we will get back to you when that is complete oh, so also, please made them think that or like everything was all go. Wait, yeah, it, it sounded like yeah, he said no problem. Please only include <coughs> direct consumer from the website and leave out any other sales from other vendors providers. Please only include direct to consumer from the website and leave out any other sales from vendors slash providers. Don't even have so it. we send more screenshots from the back end of our website that shows the total sales from last year. We also tell them that we do not work with any vendors or providers. Right, that's what we do thinking. everything ourselves, completely independently. So everything is from our hands to their hands. Yeah, Two days later, no they finally respond with that's this. Gonna be I'm not them. certain of the no store like completely they, yeah from you. that's why they freaking be busting their ass yeah, man yeah they I don't know be but that sleeping. that kind of don't that's a lot of work to put on yourself yeah but how do you how do you like count that but he's been previously counting it I guess yeah you know what I'm saying but yeah it's probably because you got to have that middle man that showed it came from a business unless they got a business license and it came from a business there you know what I mean oh. Because that, that stops people from buying their own CDs. Right. You know what I mean? Mm, gotcha. The album sales you have quoted to us as they are not meeting what we would expect based on the data we have from major providers at this time, including sales and streaming. Can you provide the name of your distributor? We distribute, distribute independently <laughs> through TuneCore. So we tell them that. We yeah, also tell them that if they're trying to authenticate... He's talking about distributor 
in person? Like, who's their physical distributor? Hmm. Independently through TuneCore. So we tell them that. We also tell them that if they're trying to authenticate physical sales through data acquired from digital platforms, they're going to get a very distorted picture of what's actually going on here. I explain that only a very small percentage of my music goes to these digital streaming platforms. The only songs that go to these digital streaming platforms are the songs that I release on YouTube with music videos. I explain okay. that I release two or three physical albums every year. I explain that that's around 50 songs. I explain that only a very small number of those 50 physical songs ever end up digitally available on the internet. So how could the digital data reflect my physical sales when the digital data only represents a very small portion of my physical music? I'll answer that question. It can't. And since we feel like they just called us liars, we offer them back end access to our store so that they can verify the numbers themselves directly. We would completely remove ourselves from the situation. Okay, yeah, but I see I see where it looked like cuz this is only going off of his word. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like there's Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, they might be doing right, but anybody could right. sound like they could finesse that, especially right. if they hear that it's allowed. Right. So, as soon as somebody hear that it's allowed, you you will be crazy not to work on that. You mm. Well, unless you they ain't got the money like that. See, you that's know. where they're trying to make you need somebody. Like, yeah, you're going to have to have somebody that we deem credible that does this, that has a degree in it. And if you don't, then we're not gonna trust your word. Mm -hmm. So they're like making you have to pay somebody else yeah. for credibility. I think, uh, what the, uh, yeah, and I think what they're doing also is this, they like, uh, these mainstream artists gotta have a song played so many times before one CD gets sold. Now, you ain't somebody who's selling 100 CDs. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? These artists have to ha probably have to get their songs played billions of times to match up with how many physical albums you selling. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't doing that. So you basically got to, you not jogging, you ain't, you ain't walking, you, you like taking long, you ain't just jumping, you taking long jumps mm -hmm. with those physical. Because you are artists. I sell one album, that could be like 10,000 plays for you. But if I sell 100,000 physical albums, you know how many... You got to be Kanye to come second, which, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The situation right. they going through. Right. He, they like beat Kanye. Yeah. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he was pop, Drink Champs episode, all that. He was buzzing. But was Kanye... Having the physical, no, know. no, it, that's why he lost. That's what I'm saying. That's why he will because he, he can sell a bunch of physical copies, mm -hmm. which takes thousands of views from a regular artist to get to one physical copy, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's independent, I mean, there's people we see on here who couldn't sell a hundred albums, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, based off of their views. Mm. So, directly, we would completely okay. remove ourselves from the situation so that they can see what we can see, so that there's no chance the numbers could be defrauded or tampered with in any way. I just gotta say, that is unprecedented access and transparency. It's actually very dangerous for us to be even giving out that kind of access. Yeah. But we wanted to be on the billboard charts. Yeah. We wanted to play with the big boys. We wanted to prove to the world that independent, that independent artists are just as impactful, just Sorry, as powerful, yeah. and just as worthy of industry recognition yeah. as the major label artists. That, so that, that kind of promo you can't pay for. But I mean, you get, I mean, you get more respect doing what you do. You know, I mean, I know it don't seem like it, but man, y'all, it's kudos to y'all for that, man. Because yeah. Yeah. y'all doing shit that everybody else has to pay a million people for and they, they ain't getting nothing, you know? Yeah. That's a lot of hard work, man. 
So I was like, fuck the damn billboard or, you know, fuck the industry stuff. Like, just keep doing you. And just as worthy of industry recognition as the major label artists are. You're more so at worthy. this point, since we feel like they just called us liars, we start CCing anyone that we work with in any capacity who could possibly help verify these numbers to the data collection company. We ended up having like four or five people on this email thread. One of them being my friend and the owner of the warehouse who has manufactured my CDs from the very beginning of my career. He sees every single order that comes in. He's actually the guy that sends you guys your t-shirts. He replies in this email thread, and I quote, I can verify and prove all of the information provided below. Let me know how I can assist. No reply. Our other industry friends start questioning them at this point. They start asking the data collection company, do you guys even have a mechanism or a process to account for a truly independent artist numbers? Does that even exist? They inform us that they do in fact have the process they in used place. To. We ask what that process is. They refuse to give us the information, but they tell us that they'd be happy to once their questions about my past sales have been answered. We tell them that we're unsure of what questions they're <laughs> asking. They, they ask us to confirm the number of physical albums that were officially accepted by it the sounds like he asked so let me talk to your supervisor and do say for I am what? The supervisor. No, no, for what? <laughs> well, first answer my question. Yeah, exactly. And maybe I'll refer you to yeah. him. Because like, he only answers. Depending for three, on how you answer. For three things. It has to be emergency. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you what those emergencies are. <laughs> guess. Yes, three guesses. If you get them wrong, yeah. over for you. Even you even gave him uh, uh, phone calls. Yeah, you got a phone call. <laughs> Our friend explains in the email that Nova and I independently, yeah, totally on our own, distribute our physical sales to the people. There is no publishing company accounting for physical sales. They still don't get it. They miserably fail to understand that our business is truly independent. So we once again explain how our business model works. A grassroots operation totally outside of the music industry. We explain that we've packed over 200,000 albums with our own hands. We send pictures of us over the years packing albums, labeling albums, and dropping them off at the post office. Yeah. We tell them that if the numbers seem unbelievable, it's because they are unbelievable. I get it. If they gotta write that off on their taxes, you know what I'm saying? If they gotta write that, like, how can you not believe that and the IRS believe in it? Yeah. It is unbelievable that a kid and his girlfriend have managed to do something. Like, yeah, I people be writing off stuff all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> that could be maneuvered. Large as we're doing it completely but independent of the music can't. industry. I get it. It's unbelievable. But you're a data collection company and we're giving you the proof, so believe it because it's true. We again explain that the information she wants is the information we have and us alone. And we're trying to give it to her. We're, we're trying See, to... See, because that probably just doesn't make any sense to her. Like, there's no way that you're doing all that on your own. Yeah. You know, she's like, her her mind isn't computing with it. You know what I mean? Right. Because that's a lot of fucking work they do. Yeah. Yeah. We have, and us alone. And we're trying to give it to her. We're, we're trying to give it to her. At this point, I've had absolutely enough. Nova has been the person emailing back and forth with them, and I've just been kind of watching from a distance. Now, Nova wants this so bad for us that it's literally all that she's thinking about. She's waiting at her computer all day, just hoping that she's oh. gonna get a reply from them. And then when their office is closed at 8 p.m., she just like goes to bed, like totally defeated. I saw a lot of tears that week, a lot of them. And with both of us feeling super frustrated and totally defeated, I would finally step in. When I start personally sending emails, it gets ugly. Yeah. Here's how that went. I informed the data collection company that I have a massive six week campaign for the Brave album, complete with promotional materials, music videos, marketing, blah, 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 blah. A plan that it took me weeks to come up with, I might add. A plan that I annoyed the hell out of Adam with because I was insistent that it had to go exactly the way that I wanted it to go. Anyway, I tell them that I'm gonna have to reconfigure this entire six week plan if I can't get a clear answer from them on if we can record our physical albums or how we do it or what the hell's going on. Sidebar, you gotta understand, this whole mess is ultimately why we ended up moving the so digital release So he just bought all those CDs just for money. Like, he, he just, he, he, uh, he bought all those, like, he, he got all those CDs to print out and sell just for money. Like, it didn't count for anything. I knew at the beginning of this, he was 
hype thinking just you to know, do it for his fans. Yeah, because the money ain't, ain't you know what I mean, just do it for his fans and also to like he said, to show independent artists can just do it just as good as big dogs. Right. You know what I mean? And like that's gone. Like they took that away from him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Understand. This whole mess is ultimately why we ended up moving the digital release from February 18th to March 4th. You guys remember mm. when that happened? We had to order a ton more CDs. We had to yeah, scramble so to create to merch packs that we weren't CDs. initially going to do because we weren't allowed to bundle merch with albums according to their guidelines. We had to go into they overdrive and try and salvage a six week campaign that got screwed up because we were waiting for them to accept our numbers. Anyways, I tell these guys that I need a clear answer so I can move forward. No response to that email. I follow up again, and they reply to me, and I quote, Hi Tom and all. I've been reviewing the site, the data we have from streaming for past releases, socials, and comparable sales from similar genres during this vetting period. It doesn't support the sales you have quoted earlier in this thread. Did any of these sales happen to be null orders out to fan clubs, other retailers, etc.? I'm still trying to understand the provided data to explain the abnormally high numbers oh, before we see. can allow you to report. <laughs> Again, in my eyes, telling us that they don't believe us. So I immediately respond with That's a- That's what I say, like they, their, their head ain't computing <laughs> with that. They're like, there's no way your sales are that high. If y'all just heard Jaden, never... Jaden just let one rip. Oh, I didn't even hear the thing. He yeah, said, he yeah, said, don't worry yeah. about what's going on over here. Yeah, he got it going on. <laughs> and in my eyes, telling us that they don't believe us. So I immediately respond with a nuclear bomb of an email. And it goes like this. You continually ask the same questions, we continually answer them. We have been painfully transparent with you and still you make absolutely no movement. If you won't sign in to the back end of our store, which we've offered you access to, to verify the sales yourself, and you won't take the endorsement from anyone else that's involved in our very small and obviously extremely successful business, it seems as though there's nothing else we can do here. Your job is to collect and report data to Billboard, a chart that I would assume takes pride in presenting an accurate portrayal of the sales landscape in regards to the music business. And for some reason, you are preventing adequate data collection and accurate reporting. If you can't figure out how to verify a truly independent artist sales, go talk to someone who does. If you don't have the mechanism, you should all be embarrassed of yourselves. I've likened cool. this entire situation to waiting outside a treehouse while you block the door. You are preventing us from hanging out with the cool kids for a reason that you can't seem to provide. We're asking you what we can possibly do to get in and you can't seem to articulate a conclusive answer. We just keep running in circles. Please help or put us in contact with someone who can. Your unwillingness to make any progress has gone on long enough and already forced me to adjust an extremely important release campaign multiple times. Every song I release hits number one on iTunes. Most of them hit number one on multiple billboard charts. My YouTube, where I post my music videos, has three million subscribers. I have music videos with 30 million actual views. I've been on Fox News and an endless amount of other acclaimed platforms. What part of this is unbelievable to you? I shouldn't have to explain well, independent- What part is unbelievable is that it, he doesn't have all these other whatever sponsors and yeah. everybody else in his pocket. Yeah, hold on. I don't, I don't know about just you. Ain't nobody else eating off of this? Yeah, that's what nobody they're like. Nobody else eating off of this. Yeah, so that's probably where they're like, just just yeah. unbelievable. No, I can't believe it. Nobody we done did business with before. You did all this on your I mean, own. there's only one Tom McDonald. Yeah. And musicianship and the marketing thereof to someone who's apparently responsible for collecting the results of said marketing. Figure it out. It would be great to get a prompt response. Tom, uh. I hit send. <laughs> Ready for it to get even crazier? I didn't ever hear back from that email. One of my music industry friends who's CC'd on the email senses my frustration and he decides to weigh in and try and help out. He adds, just to help if possible, Tom's videos released on YouTube have gathered over a hundred million views in 2021 alone. We help collect the publishing income generated from those views and we can confirm over a hundred million views from his videos in 2021 alone. They didn't respond to that email either. I followed up for the next two days, no responses. 
This is almost 50 emails in a two week span and absolutely no progress at all. I follow up multiple times, nothing. I find out who the higher ups are, I email them, nothing. I follow up, nothing. Yeah. Then I find out that me and Nova have been removed from this email thread entirely. My friend tells us that he's received an email from someone within the data collection company. We were told that they were trying to set up a phone call and that we were to have no further communication with the people that we had been dealing with previously. According to this new person, all further communications were to go through him. So my friend and the data company set up a time to get on the phone and talk about it. And they didn't ever answer that call. And we called more than once. Like, do you guys see what is happening here? Our mm. physical album sales combined with our digital album sales would have Not practically guaranteed us a number one spot on the Billboard album charts independently. Now look, I know a lot of independent artists out there, they, they don't like me. And that's fine, I, I don't need more friends. But look past that. It's not just my album. It's not just my career. It it's your albums. Too. It's your careers. It's your blood, sweat, tears, time, ah! energy, and money that they are refusing to acknowledge on the industry charts. Ah, uh, so he's pulling that. The enemy of yeah. my enemy is your enemy, or whatever. Oh. However the hell it. How does that? How you say it? My the enemy. I don't know. Y'all know what the they're hell. They're trying was. to make everybody get down with digitalizing or digital digital sales, or don't do it at all because. Physical sales obviously don't count. That's what I'm learning from this. So I ain't even no use to giving out. My now they're country. saying if you do this shit completely on your own, you're going to have some problems. That's what they're saying. Here's time, energy, and money that they are refusing to acknowledge on the industry charts. Look, all musicians, whether you want to admit it or not, we all at some point in time have used the billboard charts as a measuring stick for our own personal successes. It's the most acclaimed music chart in the entire world. And it's supposed to represent all of us accurately. It's supposed to be reliable. But if the data collection companies in regards to independent artists aren't competent in their collection. Oh, okay. So Billboard isn't uh, just for industry artists or whatnot. Yeah, we got sleepy. Yeah. Yeah, this video is almost over yeah, too. We got like 10 minutes. And delivery of data. What do the charts even mean? Having your creation on the billboard charts carries a degree of prestige with it. And I personally don't think it's appropriate to have the integrity of the charts in the hands of a data collection company who won't even tell an independent artist how to prove their sales are legitimate and our numbers are worthy of competing in the mainstream arena. Musicians, show this to your friends. Show this to your family. Show this to other musicians. Shining a light on these things could force a total overhaul within the industry of how they deal with independent artists in regards to charting. In general, the music industry is archaic, inefficient, and unfair. And it's about damn time it got renovated. If you're a musician, I know you care about your art. If you're a fan, I know you care about your favorite artist. Stand up for them. Stand up for yourselves. You know, it's not just like a clever catchphrase. It truly is us against them. And we might never win the fight, but I'm damn sure showing up for it. Our new album, The Brave, is out now. And the only way that we're going to be able to compete with these guys because they've discluded our... Here, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get me figure it out. Close it out. Yeah, it's, it's go time. It's go time, guys. Let's go. All right, say bye, Jaden. Bye. Bye. Love you. See you in a second. All right. Yeah. Peace. Right to it. All right, babe. Our physical copies is if you guys go to iTunes or go to Amazon and download the digital copy of our new album, The Brave. We need Definitely everybody to take action. This is like a tiny snowball rolling down the hill right now. And if we all take action, we could turn that snowball into a freaking avalanche. And look, this is the absolute last time I'm doing things this way. But I'll tell you this. Got to. I'm going to leave a hand. Hey, that's, that, that right there is some of the smartest shit he could have said right there. That's the last time he doing shit that way, bro. Because all that shit didn't do nothing but just get him some money. You know what I mean? It's none of that. Is He still got those goals to be number one on, on, on the billboard. You know what I mean? He was right there. How's that going to feel, bro? He was right there. He know he would have been number one, man. And you got to go to sleep with that at night. You know what I'm saying? That's something you're going to tell your kids. You know, I had the number one album. 
Nobody ever talked about it, though. Nobody. That's something you know and we know, Tom. We already know what's up, bro. Straight up. The mark on my way out. I love y'all so much. As always, screw the music industry. It's Hangover Gang forever. I love y'all. Peace. Hangover Gang. Screw the music industry, man. Salute to the HOGs, you know what I mean? The Hogs for buying the album. Salute to the ACAL members, you know what I mean? For buying the album. Y'all did y'all thing, man. And I'm glad to see that y'all made it to number one as independent artists because people who rap... Or well, people know the music industry, man. That is a ver that is very hard to do, and now I can now I see it can be done, you know. But the big artists, they got these mainstream places that make it real hard to compete with them, uh, uh, stream wise, because they got the radio, they got all this stuff going for them that they put hundreds, of thousands, some millions behind to make sure that they hit that billboard. It's very hard to compete that way. You got, I mean, the only way is to do what Tom been doing. But you, I don't know if you have to go through a, a independent label to be able to get it to count. But like they said, there's some way for it to count. In a way, and you just got to figure that out this time. But I, I'm sure that's going to come with more more hens, more uh, people eating off of your music anyway. So, and Tom ain't trying to do that. He, forget all that. It's him and Nova to the end. You did. But, man, that was good to know, man. Hey, I enjoyed this. Sorry, Chris, I had to leave. Um, Jaden was crying. Hey, he lasted this long, though. He lasted for a while, man. This is an 18-minute video. No telling how long this reaction was. But, guys, that's all we, all we got. All I got. I'm out this thing, man. Yeah.